What's up guys? So I finally made it out here to another one of my properties. Uh, this one's substantial. I think it's about 300 and some odd acres. Uh, it's a hunting lease for a couple buddies of mine. Uh, they say they have a pile of coyotes out here, so we're going to see if we can't help them out. Alright. Alright, this is my first dirt hole set on this property. Good sized dirt hole. I've put uh, Federalis and some boss dog here. Now this is a road that comes up from there. Got this abandoned cabin here. That road runs along out this way. Got an abandoned barn over there. That road continues on that way. Another road runs in from this direction. So this is a big intersection. Uh, we got lots of pictures of coyotes on trail cams on this road. So I'm going to set this area pretty heavy. There's my second set finished. Put in a little flat set here. Actually moved that log from across the road. Punched a hole underneath it. Put some hellfire in the hole. And in the log we've got some Minnesota red. Traps bedded just there. Alright. And this set is just down the road from my other dirt hole. All right. And here's another dirt hole. I tucked it up under this brush pile here. And we're in a field. There's the cabin again. And right up here, just about there, is my flat set. And that road runs down that way. Now we're going to carry on over here. We're going to put in another set here. We've got a field on the edge of a wood line right up through here. I'm going to put in a trap right here. There's the cabin up there. That road comes down this way. All right. Continues on down that way. So this is right on the corner here of this road. We're going to put one in here and I'll show you when I get it done. And there you go. I've punched in a big dirt hole here. For those of you that don't know, I like peat moss. I sift it into a bucket after it's dry. I got a video on that. You can check that out. All right. Just punch in a big dirt hole. All right. Uh, don't clean those roots up, guys. Um, try not to leave your hole too round. Sometimes I do. I really don't care one way or the other sometimes. But if I've got roots and things in there like that, leave that. This is supposed to simulate a coyote digging. So I'm going to rake all this dirt out here like a dog's kicked it out. But there's not many critters out here in the woods that'll dig a hole and cut all those roots off nice and clean. So leave those intact if you can. It looks a lot more natural that way. Let me get this set finished up and I'll show you the finished product. And there's the finished dirt hole. I've got some Federalis and Boss Dog right there above the hole. And again, this is right on the edge of a field and the wood line. Right on the edge of a road. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. I've punched in another dirt hole. And this has got uh, some Soul Taker and Mouse Massacre. A little Mouse Massacre on the rock there. Tossed a couple cotton balls down in the hole for some eye appeal. Alright. This is right on the side of the road here. That road goes on down that way behind my truck and then turns to the right. So this is at another intersection. This should be very productive. So hot. Alright, and this is the last set we're going to get put in. It's getting pretty dark here, but uh, tucked in a blind set here up under that log. A little hellfire right there on the log and I've got two holes underneath it. 
I put uh, Hellfire in one and Reaper Coyote Gland in the other. My trap is right there. And again, this is on a road. My truck's down that way. The road goes on out that way a ways. And we'll be back tomorrow with the chick. See y'all later.